I think it's quite interesting to start to talk about uh, Nebbiolo, talking about the two appellation of uh, Lange, uh, the Barbaresco and the, the Barolo uh, wines, because are uh, similar but so different. Uh, are, um, the appellation of uh, Barolo and Barbaresco have to be made, the wine have to be made with 100% Nebbiolo, uh, with uh, aging in barrel. The soil composition is really different, is why uh, uh, we consider Nebbiolo one of the great varieties of, uh, of the Lange because every little detail inside of the soil, different, make completely different wines. Um, so we're, we're tasting first the Pira of the Barolo and yeah. I guess kind of common assumptions would be that uh, people generally regard, you know, the, the introductory text on the Lange is that uh, Barbaresco is the easier, more approachable in its youth, more um, uh, delicate expression, whereas Barolo is regarded as the, 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 the bigger, more powerful one. So, uh, talking in general, uh, I I agree with you. Uh, a lot of uh, Barolo are uh, more powerful, more tannic than a lot of Barbaresco. But um, to be more precise, we have really to talk about every single vineyard. For example, we are uh, uh, not really common in the in the expression of Barolo and Barbaresco because our Barolo come from a monopoly vineyard, who is uh, Pira. And uh, Castiglione Falletto is really known to be the elegant village of, uh, of the Barolo. We are uh, in the area of the Rocche. Uh, this means uh, our soil with uh, a lot of different layers. You have to consider Lange. Uh, in Lange we have sedimentary soil, mainly our uh, white soil. Uh, with a lot of limestone, marl, grey, blue marl, and sometimes a sand. And the unicity of the rock is the composition of, 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 the, of this soil, is really stony uh, soil with uh, a lot of different layers. And uh, our monopoly vineyard Pira comes from the destruction of the rock. And it is uh, easy to understand if you have a really uh, rocky soil, the wine will be really mineral, not aggressive and so elegant and this is why uh, Castiglione Falletto is known to be one of the elegant terroir. And there is some sand in, in yeah. Uh, yeah. Pira as well? And the sand is always important, a little part of sand, uh, because it gives a little bit less of uh, alcohol inside of the wine, a uh, little bit less of color and for Piemontese producer we are never worried if the color is not too dark <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, more finesse. My grandfather always said, we have to work for the elegance. Uh, we consider quite easy to make uh, rich, powerful uh, uh, wines, and uh, it's uh, quite easy to make uh, bodybuilder wines, <laughs> but uh, it's really more difficult to work in the precision and the elegance. This is our deal. After every vintage is different, but we try to keep the classic. This means uh, we don't want to destroy the roots of the family, but consider vinification in big barrels of oak, all natural yeast, all the classic old school, but try to keep also purity inside of the wines. And this means follow really a lot the grapes, maturation, and also follow a lot also the wine during the aging. <laughs>